Hello everyone. In today's session, we're going to introduce a very useful tool that you can use to measure the conducting emission and also the transient events on power lines. Okay. So the tool we're going to introduce is from this company called Unfilter. Okay. It's called Powerline EMI Adapter. The model type is MSN15. I first came across this product by having a read of Mr. Ken Wire's review article. Okay. So you can find this one, EDN. And in his review, he was using a spectral analyzer. Then he connected this adapter to the spectral analyzer to measure the emissions, mainly the conducting emissions um, of his uh, mains network. Okay, so you can have a read of this um, uh, article online. Okay, and in his review, he was using a spectral analyzer. So in today's session, we're going to measure. Pretty much the same thing, but using a oscilloscope. But we're also going to have a look at uh, how useful this tool will be if we want to use this tool to measure a transient event on the line. Okay. So before we uh, show you the demo, let's have a look at the data sheet. Okay. So this is the application notes from the manufacturer, and really, um, if you look at the challenges um, section, right, these list the main reasons that we use this tool. Okay. For me. The reason I buy this is because first, as mentioned here, the traditional uh, differential probe that come with the oscilloscope do let's say 100 to 1 or 500 to 1 uh, attenuation. But that applies to both the useful signals and the noise. So that means if I wanted to look at the noise, um, it has been heavily attenuated. Okay, And also triggering is a problem, right? Because the, the transient events on the line can happen anywhere. Like sometimes they're on the peak of the voltage, sometimes at zero crossing, you never know. So having the capability of triggering the transient event is very important for my uh, troubleshooting work most of the time. Uh, other reasons include ground loop and impedance matching. Okay, so yeah. So in the next uh, video demonstration, I'm going to show you uh, how useful this tool is. Okay. Okay. So as you can see, this is the Unfilter um, EMI adapter MSN15. Okay. So um, in this case, we are connected the output of this one to a uh, oscilloscope using the 50 ohm. Uh, uh, input okay, so as you can see, channel 2 currently is connected to 50 ohm. Okay, because if you check the data sheet, this one actually works from 30 kilohertz or something, right? Uh, up all the way up to hundreds of uh, megahertz. Therefore, it won't show you the DC content or very low, fre low frequency content. Okay, so that's this module. So, as a comparison, we also measure the mains voltage using. Uh, Differential probe. Okay, so this differential probe is uh, uh, mixic, and you can see the bandwidth is DC to 100 megahertz. Okay, so that's uh, basically our setup. Um, yeah, two channels. Channel one is connected using a normal differential probe, and uh, channel two is connected to this uh, power line EMI adapter. And the setup is extremely simple. We're just measuring the uh, mains voltage by this. Okay. So as you can already see that uh, we got a mains voltage and and some noise measured here. Okay, so we explained why this one cannot show you the sine wave simply because this one does not work down to that uh, low frequency level. That's fine because we said this module only works for the conducted emission um, frequency spectrum. Okay, so that that makes sense. The first thing we wanted to analyze the power line quality is to make sure that. What you see actually is the noise you measured, not something else. Okay, so in this case, as you can see, this is a battery powered uh, oscilloscope, but we already measured quite a lot of uh, noise, and these noise are high frequency content, as you can see here. Okay, so, uh, but I just wanted to show you quickly. Okay, right now, as you can see, this oscilloscope is powered by its uh, AC. To DC charger, okay. So now if I disconnect it, just look at the noise we measured, okay. You see, it's very different, okay. So before we disconnect this main uh, connection, okay, because you're measuring basically into the same mains network, and this basically is powered by this AC to DC switching mode power supply. Therefore, you pick up some noise generated by the uh, AC to DC switching mode power supply. Therefore, there's a ground loop, 
so you need to break that first okay and uh next okay so let's just uh, confirm this is actually the noise we measured from the, the socket okay so now i unplug this one so what you see okay yeah that's pretty good okay the mains disappeared and also you, you got some noise but these are the you know you can treat it as a background noise okay not really the noise you measure from the mains okay so let's put it back okay we got the mains voltage and we got the noise okay so yeah definitely by using this module you can see the high frequency content much much better compared with this uh, uh, differential probe even though this differential probe claimed to have 100 megahertz bandwidth but you can clearly see the difference okay so you can see sometimes okay you will see a transient voltage on the line as well and this can be captured again by this module connected to the oscilloscope but it's going to be very difficult for the uh, normal probe to to capture that okay so to demonstrate that let's let's trigger it okay so if i set so currently my trigger level is channel 2 on both the rising and falling edge okay and now like let's put the triggering level somewhere here okay and we can trigger it and we can see um, uh, if there's any transient event on, on the line in fact i'm going to I'm gonna do this, okay? I'm gonna do that because I'm gonna generate a very uh, big transient event, okay? So I put it in here, okay? I'm going to switch on the lights in this room, okay? And then you're gonna see whether uh, this would event, this transient event would be captured by this uh, adapter, okay? Let's do that, okay? So yeah, I just switch on the lights in the room and there's a associated transient events there and it's captured by this module because it's uh, on channel 2 and it's not captured on channel 1. So clearly this one has a much better performance in terms of capturing this transient event compared with your normal differential pro. Okay, so let's zoom in and have a look. So let me zoom in. Okay, so yeah. Here we are, okay? It's a very big voltage uh, transient event with lots of ringing and overshoot, okay? And you can see here, I already, um, okay, yeah, I can perhaps do even, uh, let's do another one, yeah. Okay, so in that case, let's do another one. Try it again. Yeah, much better. Okay, so yeah, you see, I generate another event. You can see the difference, okay? So yeah, using the differential, um, a probe, you can also get a little bit of this noise, but just as the data sheet explains, because this one, let's say in this case, has a 1 to 500 ratio, therefore this transient event has also been suppressed, whereas this one does not do that, okay? So you can actually see the transient noise uh, in its uh, original form, okay? So yeah, I'm quite uh, pleased with this uh, this module, as you can see, it captures the transient uh, event on the line really, really well. And um, I mean, of course, you can then save this data, okay, and then do a analysis. So I would say, yeah, this module is very useful if you try to monitor the, the, the transient uh, performance in the mains network. You plug it in, you have some data logging uh, enabled, and yeah, you, you, can, you, can, you can capture lots of things on the line. Right, that's just one of the functions. Okay, so that's on the transient. Uh, uh, let's go back again to the high frequency performance. Okay, so you can see um, the noise. Uh, these are the high frequency conducted emission noise on the line, whereas uh, this differential probe simply cannot capture this effectively. So yeah, I would say this module is very good in terms of analyzing the conducted emission on the line and also the transient events on the line. Obviously, you can use it with a, a uh, with, well, you can use it with an oscilloscope with a 50 ohm um, input impedance, but also you can use it with a spectral analyzer. But just as um, what is uh, stressed in the data sheets, and also here, if you want to use this with a spectral analyzer, you might want to apply a 20 dB attenuator just to protect the RF input uh, of your spectral analyzer. So yeah, this is a, a short review of this product, uh, which can be uh, used for analyzing 
the emissions on the power line very, very effectively. So I hope you enjoy this episode. Thank you.